Well, the temperature outside just right to cozy up inside. Interior and product designer Joe Alcorn joins us now with tips on how to warm up your space. And I love that you brought candy. I know. Keep your hands <laughs> off of that. All right, all right. All right. Till after. A little bit later. I love being on set. This makes me feel cozy, oh, right? Oh, good, good, good. So it being fall, I always find it's like this weird transition between fall and winter where it's like, what do you do right now when it comes to decor? I'm not someone that puts up my holiday uh, decor right away. So it's all about how how do we make things feel interesting and cozy in the home? And the one thing people always forget is the outdoor space because we can still somewhat enjoy it well, you know, the, the air is crisp, but if we make it all cozy with the fire and pillows and blankets and all your lighting there, we can still enjoy the outdoors until, you know, the S mm -hmm. word comes, snow. And, and people want to be outside <laughs> when it looks inviting like that. Absolutely. And it's a great place to even entertain still. You know, you got to get, get your cozy jackets on and everything along those lines. So don't forget to still enjoy the outdoors, but you're bringing in your textures and your layers and having, you know, your candles and the fires and stuff out there. So it really is fun along those lines. And even I brought my little hot chocolate mugs and Ooh, your biscuits. Like you bring that out and you can create a whole other experience for the family or as a date night or hanging out with friends and, and you think it you know pandemic's not done yet so entertaining outside is actually a much smarter health ways absolutely right? and some of us just don't have you know the space where they feel comfortable inside so mm -hmm. outside you know enjoy it add in those extra things and then extend the outdoor months yes. that way too so the other thing is we are indoors uh, with friends or family and it's all about how do we create that cozy feel and the biggest thing is um, is adding in your textures in your layers and also making sure that we're adding interest on the walls. So I did a space um, and this is the kitchen part was staying with your neutral palette. So there's already that coziness adding in the textures, those open shelves. Anytime you can take off cabinets and put in open shelves, it creates a different interest and then you can really have fun depending on what with season. Different colors, different textures. Out. Absolutely. And then the dining space. The biggest thing is a lot of us might have these larger spaces and it's all about creating the different zones. So we have the dining, we also have a sitting zone. In the back we have the coffee zone, we have the fireplace and the storage. So anytime you can really utilize your space with multiple zones, you're going to get um, more activity but a different type of coziness okay. and ambiance within there. And here you've kind of used the rug as like, okay, what's on the rug is the dining area, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. So it's all about understanding how to zone and like you said the rug is going to be an easy way to really allow you to define the spaces and then it doesn't have to be asymmetric or it doesn't have to be symmetrical the other thing I love in the fall months is creating candy stations and stuff Hello. like that I know <laughs> so this is always a fun easy thing to do it gets the family involved but then when you're having people over it's just a fun little activity for people to be involved with or grab those little snacks and it really doesn't have to take much I literally grabbed everything out of the kids' Halloween bags. I feel bad for them now. <laughs> and I'm sorry, kids, this is all ours now. <laughs> I'm literally going to leave it here, yes. And it's just kind of filling it up and making it look more fun than just, you know, in the bags or in a drawer. And it really kind of gets them excited uh, for movie night or to have yeah. their friends over. And again, it's those layering and the textures that make things seem more interesting than just flat surface or along one kind of right. line. We've actually done this in our own kitchen because we have these reusable like glass jars and we just stuck candy in there. Now the problem is because we see them, we're yes. eating them all the time. That is <laughs> yeah. the thing. So it's like, okay, I can't grab anything till a certain time yes. and then that helps. <laughs> but really the only time that you need to be doing this okay. is at like movie times or yeah, you know, right. things like that. So it's not an all day you know, snack bar. Okay. <laughs> I'll try to remember yes, that. Yes, try to remember and that. And then you put them in front of me. Okay. Yes. Great designs um, and great design ideas for warming everything up inside. Where can we uh, follow you on? Beautiful. Everything is online at elkhornhome.com or on my Instagram at joe underscore elkhorn. Okay. We'll get those links up at our website, chch.com. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Cheese it. Cheese it. <laughs> take it. Cheese take it. it.